Take it up a little bit higher because we're definitely not near where we want to be. Right there. That should give us some more. And then we put okay. something in the bottom it's of the basket steady. to weigh it down. Yeah, like a piece of towel that looks better than a rock in there. And you... Okay. There's a piece of towel right over there somewhere. That's what I usually do. And, and if you take that bag off of it, you don't need it. The, yeah. the, the rod will hold it down. Wow, okay. back there rained on. Good thing my umbrella's here, huh? Yeah. I stopped at Home Depot and bought that on the way out here because my other one's in my truck in the shop. Well, I'm sure is you had not brought the umbrella, it would have poured that's on what I, That's what I was counting on. <laughs> I mean, I, it sprinkled on me when I was leaving this morning. In Cordillera, it was today. raining pretty good in Cordillera. All right, Come so now here. it's your turn to test the water. Okay. Come here. It's really dark over there. It's like, over there, Come too. on, come on. Thank See, you. so look, right now it's pulling. It just pulled that one loop out. It's going to go to the wall. It should start to climb yeah. the wall. Yeah. Okay, push it back. It will get to where, because it's got uh, tension on it here. Yeah, well, so on the note. tail, the tail, it's not wagging right now, it's kind of turned off. There's a stainless steel screw on it. If you like it wagging, it, it helps to sweep behind it. it you don't, we don't want it coming up past the side of it. Right. So but it, can, it can do a small momentum like that. Just, I can open up that screw a little bit and make it turn a little bit. Yeah. Most people don't want it spraying out of the pool a whole lot and wasting the water. Right. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, maybe, that's true. Maybe adjust it a little bit. I, I, okay, yeah. so we're going to we, test we the water. We were sitting in the house having lunch one day, and I looked out and I said, Sure is a lot of water at the surface of the pool and came out here and that's when we found out that that hose, yeah, hose had came disconnected. Up. They're all on there pretty pretty <laughs> tough now. So. Yeah. so it doesn't matter where you test the water. Anywhere, anywhere. in the pool it's all circulating the same body of water. Just yeah. like people have a spa and a pool combination, it's the same water in both. So you can sit on the side of the spa and do it. You can sit on the side of that and bend down and do it. You can do all kinds of things. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do it? Yep. Yep, go ahead. So left hand? Left hand, yep. you want to hold the, the yellow cap in your left hand like that. Yep. All right, so you take one out, close, always close the top because you drip water in there, it, it ruins them all. I've ruined so many bottles, it's not funny. I wish I had a dollar for every bottle I ruined. I wouldn't have to work this week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I put in the washing machine. I wash more of those little strips in the washing machine. Oh, really? John, I get so mad at me every time. Yeah. Um, you had 15 of them in your pocket this time. How many pool screws did you do? Well, you know, yeah, you. somebody I know leaves a lot of things in his pockets. Hey, <laughs> all that metal thinking is my tools. Don't be throwing them away. Okay, <laughs> so now I've got this. Yep. Yeah. And I'm eventually going to be putting it right here. Yeah. Yep. So when you pull it out of the wire, you're going to go sideways. Yep. I usually try to break the surface by six or ten inches to get yeah. down to You want me to It'll get down there a little bit easier than you? Jam, pour it out sideways. Out sideways. We're not red no more, right? No. We're more orange? Well, uh, I'd say. Little, is it going to change or is it going to stay That's, like that's the only color you're going to see. Yeah, because so you, you said the top one can change quickly. Yeah, so that's why seconds. you need to look at so it first. So, because I put that gallon of shock in there, that's unstabilized shock. So, that's why the purple is, is there and it's working yeah. just orange a little bit. So, the purple's more like here. Yep, but it, yeah. in the next two hours, it'll be down to a, a three. Okay. That's okay. unstabilized shock that I put in there. And. It's made to get in the water to blow the stuff out and get back out. So okay. It's looking bluer than it was with the clarifier. Yeah, stuff. yeah. That clarifier is magical stuff, I'm telling you. Never put more than the dose of it is yeah. because it'll turn the water kind of a brownish color. Okay. Oh, don't want that. So that bottom one is yeah. going to take, by the time it gets into the purple, it's about the fourth one over, it should be three to five years. So if you test yeah. one and it's that dark of purple on the, on the bottom strip, yeah. In the next two years, throw that strip away. It's contaminated. Huh. That's stabilized. That's every every bag of shock you put in, every tablet that dissolves, has a little bit of that in it. Okay. And it takes a long time to build it up to where you'd have to. So if you take a water sample in, in say three and a half years, and they say your stabilizer is kind of high. That's what it is. It's chlorine stabilizer, cyanuric acid. It's named all kinds of stuff. You got to drain half your pool. Don't ever just drain half your pool, drain your whole pool because what happens is, and then you just refill it as time goes, unless you have problems with the well not working right or whatever, the, the stabilizer leaches into the plaster. So you can drain it down to where there's two feet down and then you fill it back up and you might have changed it 30 points, but you didn't change it as much as it should have changed. So you're, they're next year they're gonna tell you the same thing to go again too. We got you okay in the starting position with this one down here, you're right in the middle of the two of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're good, the alkalinity is good, your eyes should not be having any problems. 
With it, that's about a, I'd say 100 to 120, the alkalinity. Yep. The chlorine should be down to about a three, that color right there, I'd say within two hours, if it rains even quicker. And that one is going to be about a seven, six, because it's already getting darker a little bit. It's in between those two right there. That's a quarter gallon per number, remember 8.4. So that's 7.8, 8.0, 8.2, and 8.4 is four quarts of acid, acid to do that. Yeah. So, and that's if you went four weeks without adding acid, that's what you're gonna have. If you add acid every week, you're gonna be able to order at adding a quarter gallon, which is a quart. Okay. Okay, right. simple, and it's a simple way to figure it. The math is, is right there on it. Like I said, a little bit too much one week, a little bit less the next week, it's not that big a deal. All right. Chlorine, we want to try to run it at 3.0. That's where our peak position is. When you shock it, it's going to take you higher. Your tablets are made to keep your chlorine buzzing along like this in a level point, right? Yeah. And it starts to drop down. So then you shock it, which brings your chlorine back up to that level point again, yeah. and goes like that. Okay, so we do not need to shock this pool now. Nope, I put that gallon of liquid chlorine in there, and it'll yeah. be, it's safe to swim in it now. If you wait another hour, hour and a half probably it'll be down to five and three and everything's good yeah it's, at that point it's not stabilized chlorine in there so it's burning it out as fast as it went in which is a good thing that makes it get the polishing done and, and kills any water skippers anytime you see a water skipper little black bugs cruising real fast it's amazing when you shock it you don't ever see where they go but they leave they don't die they just leave they jump out of the water and go somewhere else but it's like i've tried to to catch them and i've caught a lot of things in the water in the years let me tell you scorpions what, they're on the bottom of the pool walking, they're alive. I've seen mamas in, on swim outs that had probably 30 little babies on their back. The weirdest thing I've ever seen. I didn't know what they were jumping on. And then they go, with that neck. That's scorpion, that's fleas. Now I won't be able to go in the pool. <laughs> the players is your friend. Remember that, it'll get yeah. him. The players yeah. will get him or the players will push him into that yeah, point down there and he's dead. Have some shoes to wear into the pool. <laughs> Something if you have little kids, an aggregate finished pool yeah. is rougher on your toes for, for soft skin. Yeah. Have them wear yeah, little, those you know, water shoes. shoes. Yeah. Water shoes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I remember Adults when the too. girls were young taking swimming lessons before they came out with those kind of shoes. Our plaster was get... so rough that it made your toes bleed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember several times their, their toes so, being pretty rough. If you have boys around or anything, you can take that umbrella stand. Being on a hill, I'd never leave an umbrella in there. Even if you have a bungee strapped down, because you got a missile right there ready to take off with yeah. coming up this hill. Yeah. I've seen it, it's not pretty. It makes a mess. Breaks a lot of windows, TVs, everything else that goes through the window at. Yeah. yeah we get a lot of breezes out here. Nice breeze though. Yeah, good breeze. Right, I'm gonna go get some zip ties and quiet that down a little bit because okay. the ozone's coming out in the bubbles. Doesn't need big bubbles, little bubbles how it transfers better. Okay? Right. And it's probably gonna make those that one over there where it doesn't have as many bubbles, kinda like how that one doesn't have a lot over there. These ones yeah. should both always have bubbles because they're right in the center of it. Okay? okay. But there's going to be much more contained. Okay. Okay. Think about it. See if you have a clip. Yeah, I, I will. I'm yeah. pretty sure I, I don't. Just wonder where it went to. A lot of times if it, if it comes off, it's usually when you're shaking it, emptying it out. Well, we've been dumping in one spot, so well, we can, look in that spot you're we can dumping, check. You might find it. It's about an inch long, three quarters inch round for the hose. Yeah. I mean, I remember when... Hello. Hey baby. No, I'm not going to have time today. It's 